Definitely, definitely more intimidating when you spill your beer right on stage. Sorry. It's all good. It's all good. So my first crush uh, came to me in the mail from a catalog I got uh, when I was in high school. <laughs> no, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Um, this was a catalog from colleges that they would send you, um, not like a Sears catalog with like the lingerie section, you know, that's, that's a different time of your life. Um, but this is a catalog that colleges would send you uh, to send to prospective like high school seniors that were going to go to college, trying to get you to come to their school. And I would get a lot of these in, in, uh, as a senior and you'd, you'd page through them and you know, I was ah, okay, that's a kind of cool school. but. Uh, but there was this one I was rifling through, and it was from Wilkes University. And one of these pages, I just stopped dead. And my heart started like, like hurting. And I was like, oh. And I was speechless. And I couldn't think, couldn't breathe. And when I realized I was not having a heart attack, because I was only 18, I, uh, I realized it was from this girl that was on this page. And she was cute. She was. She had this like blue dress on. Uh, she had headphones on. Uh, a stack of uh, newspapers in her hand and a stage light, like holding it up like this. So she kind of looked like the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> and she was representing the uh, the communications department for Wilkes University in this view book. And her name was Donna. She was from Blakesley, Pennsylvania. Um, yeah, I know, right? Um, <laughs> so I, I had this huge crush on her. It was, it was like a real crush. Not like, you know, you say you have a real crush when you're a kid, you know, in middle school or high school, but that's, you know, that's not really a real crush. Because, uh, that, let's be honest, like when you're in high school or middle school, it, it's like playing darts, you're just kind of like, uh, oh, they like me this week, so okay, I love you. You know, that's kind of how crushes are in, in that time. But this is like a real crush. And so like, I, I kind of kept this view book, and I would look at it all the time like, for like, <laughs> you know, not that way. But, <laughs> but you know, like, this girl was cute, and I was like, oh, this is attainable. It's not like, you know, I'm looking at somebody else. This is like a real person that lives like 300 miles away, probably. <laughs> but so when I finally got accepted to Wilkes University, uh, <laughs> For my music scholarship, um, uh, you know, I was like, "Yeah, this is a no-brainer. I should probably go here because my my future girlfriend Donna goes here, and it must be a good store, good school, or else she wouldn't be here." So, <laughs> so uh, summertime comes, and it's orientation, and uh, you know, all the orientation leaders. The first night, they woke us all up out of the dorm rooms and uh, brought us to the initiation, which was to walk down Main Street, down Wilkesbury to the main fountain in, the, in Wilkes-Barre Square. And if you've ever been there, there's this big fountain that's, that's, that's there. And a part of our initiation, we had to run through the fountain, run through the fountain. And uh, a lot of people were kind of like, like skipping through the fountain, like, oh, oh you know. <laughs> weren't really getting in there, not getting wet. They were just kind of staying on the grates. So I was like, I got to make a name for myself. I'm, my, I'm Kevin Beerman. <laughs> it's college. So. <laughs> So I run through the center of the fountain, not realizing that the center of the fountain did not have grates. And I went through the center of the fountain. When I say I went through the center of the fountain, I went through <laughs> the center of the fountain, only to come out with a huge cut on my foot. Oh, no. I didn't realize, you know, was, who runs through a fountain, really? <laughs> so I didn't know this. I didn't have my fountain etiquette down. So, I'm hobbling now back to the door rooms. Oh, it hurts, you know. And the the uh, orientation leaders came to help me. in. I have one person on this arm and one person on this arm. I'm walking and I'm looking here and I'm looking here. And I'm like my heart stops. I'm like, oh. it's her. I've been thinking months for this. What I'm gonna say to this girl when I finally meet her? What I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do? What the, the the perfect scenario that it's gonna be? And here she is helping me back to the dorm room. And the only wisdom, the wisest words I could say is, "Hey, 
you're that girl from the view book. <laughs> and she looks at me like, what the fuck? <laughs> that was like last year. Uh... So if that didn't weird her out, I, I, the next thing when I'm like, yeah, you're Donnie, you're from Blakesley, you are a communications manager, you, you work at the Beacon, uh, you like long walks, your dislikes are guys who just ramble and know too much shit about you. <laughs> so, so yeah, we got along famously after that. Uh, she actually, like, we actually became friends after that, and it was, it was a little awkward. We got past that awkward stage, and so she brought, she showed me my first uh, college party. She showed me my first busted college party. She showed me my first intercollegiate busted college party. And, you know, a lot of partying going on, and at one point, uh, that partying made me say, hey, Donna, guess what? You know, when I was in high school, <laughs> I had a crush on you, and I kind of still do. And she looked at me and she says, oh, beer man, I don't want to ruin our friendship. And I said, well, you know, that's, I probably said, that's cool. But she, she was to her remembrance, right? Uh, probably said, yeah, well, okay, that's cool. But, you know, we became friends, and we were hanging out, and uh, towards the end of our college careers, uh, like, she went into radio, and she did her thing, and I went into music, and I did my thing, and we didn't talk for, I'd say, 15 years. And finally, MySpace came about, and, you know, you stalk your old crushes <laughs> at that point. So I found her, and she found me, and we decided, let's get together and hang out. So after 15 years, we finally hung out, and... We got together and I brought the view book that I saved. <laughs> and I said, this is the only picture I had of you. And <laughs> I know it's creepy, but yeah. So the moral of the story here is <laughs> with persistence and time, you can, uh, you know, you can still get together with your crush and we've been married six years now. <laughs> so, now, I, I do like to joke that now today we're ruining our friendship. <laughs> Sometimes twice on a, on a night, but <laughs> that's it, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>